Hi Gemini, welcome to Spirit Mail. Today we're going to be doing my favorite reading, What Does Spirit Want Us to Know? And while I'm shuffling, I just want to remind everybody that on Tuesday nights, we do influencer interviews. And uh, on Tuesday the 4th tonight, uh, this will be posted after that, after the interview. But we're talking to Brian Smith, who uh, has a YouTube channel called Grief to Growth. And if you missed it, uh, make sure you go back and check it out because I'm looking forward to having a lot of great content. Also, next week on the 11th, we'll be talking to Dr. Delia Toledo, and she is a psychiatrist who practices past life regression therapy. And uh, again, looking forward to some great content there too. And on Saturday morning, our round table is going to be with Sophia. I can't pronounce her last name so I'm not even going to try to butcher it um she was drawn last week and because of communication hiccups I didn't get to get her on here so I'm gonna have her on here this coming Saturday morning at 10 o'clock central standard time okay God guides angels archangels holy spirit I thank you so much for tarot as a tool and I thank you for uh giving us the information that you think is pertinent to our lives we're looking for an overall theme for this reading tonight. Thank you for clear and concise messages, love, light, and prosperity. And I thank you for clarification, confirmation, and validation. Overall energy, Gemini, oh, magic prayer. Okay, I'm just going to tell you, I know that that prayer is about surrender. Um, and if I remember, you may see a card up in the... Um, in the top up here or up there. I don't know where it's going to be. Uh, and it's going to be, when do we surrender? And it is a video that I did a while back about surrender. I'm just going to throw it in there. It's a very extreme, two very extreme cases about surrender. But it does, it does help put the message across that, you know, sometimes we just have to take our hands off. Um, so, uh, the number is 32, 3, and 2 is 5. That's about change. So this is about changing the way that we're addressing something. Uh, the magic prayer. Speak your prayers and listen for answers and act in faith. When you see the magic prayer card, it's a reminder that your prayers will be answered. Spirit's always waiting to help you and to heal you when you're in need. That said, the best prayer is, thy will be done through me, thy will and not my mine be done. Conscious contact with your higher power is achieved through the ritual of prayer and meditation. Speak and listen to the divine force within the field of creation. Surrender your wishes and desires to spirit. You may not get what you want, but you will surely get what you need. Your destiny awaits you. As long as you keep in conscious contact with your higher power, be assured that you are on the right path. Now, let me tell you something. Some people hear that you may not get what you want, but you'll definitely get what you need. Some people hear that and they get discouraged and they think, oh, I got to settle. But spirit never has an intention for you to settle for less than um, a beautiful life. So sometimes it doesn't look like what we thought it was going to look like. But it's going to be beautiful nevertheless, and you're going to be uh, prepared to be amazed, right? Uh, one thing I want to say about the card, if it popped up, is that whenever you click on it, I didn't know this. I always thought, why would I click on that card? I'm trying to watch this video. I don't want to interrupt it. It puts the next video uh, like in a little queue in the uh, thumbnails to the right. So just saying, you can click the card without worrying about it messing up this message god guides angels archangels holy spirit throw us show us through the modified celtic cross what is your message specifically for gemini as we move through this modified celtic cross we thank you for clear and concise messages we thank you for love light and prosperity and we thank you for clarification confirmation and validation show us clearly what is your message for gemini okay so right now, Spirit says, Gemini, we see you in the three of fire. The energy they see you in and that they're, they're asking you to be in is where you take your hands off the wheel. We're going to come back and talk about all of it. Uh, what's crossing you is the five of air. What is crowning you is the king of fire. 
And your near future is the three of earth. I love that. Your attitude toward all of this, page of water. Your outside influence, the wheel. Your hopes and fears, the high priestess. And your outcome, Ace of Fire. I'm not even kidding you. Aquarius just got this same outcome card. So, <clears throat> with the three of, of uh, fire, this card for me, look at that boat. Y'all don't look at my fingernails because I didn't do my nails. Look at that boat. It doesn't have a wheel. Like, she's suspended in midair in this boat. It's not a speed boat, so it's not going fast like she wants it to, right? Uh, but it has this fabulous little uh like a gps thingy right there and it's connected straight to this golden light so for me it's it's basically saying let go of the wheel gemini let us guide you in this let us be the one that moves this boat in the direction that it needs to go what's crossing you is the five of air this is the same as the five of uh swords so when it's crossing you, that means that it's kind of like you're at a crossroads and you go one way or the other. It's like you, there's a choice for you to make. You can continue doing what you're doing and whatever it is that you're doing, I feel like there's some, some feelings of defeat and no control in the situation. Or you can go the other way where this lady has gone. This is not gender specific, but she has dropped all of the worries. She has decided to let spirit take care of the things that she couldn't control and she rises above it right she's above the thoughts that used to hold her captive she's above the self-sabotaging talk about what she needs to do now and what 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 can she do next and um we had a one of our roundtable interviews was with miss Kara Sargent who is a licensed professional counselor and she says her favorite three letters are fcc can I fix it? Can I change it? Can I control it? And if she can't do those three things, she has to let it go. I feel like that's what this card's talking about. Letting it go and rising above it and, and making peace with that in your life. Um, it's, it is your crossroad. It's where you are right now. So your crowning energy for me is your higher power, uh, your higher self, your guides, your angels, your archangels, the Holy Spirit. It's the king of fire. So the king of fire, first of all, he leads with his heart, not his emotions. There's a difference. He doesn't react from his, his emotions. His emotions tell me I'm obligated to go fix this. Uh, I, feel, I feel a loyalty. I feel a, um, I need to take care of it, you know, those kinds of things. But his, but his heart says... Spirit loves this person. Spirit loves this situation as much as I do. Spirit loves me enough to do the things that I'm not capable of doing. Um, and he's, he allows spirit to be the guidance. See this yellow? For me, yellow's about that guidance. And it, it's the halo over his head, right? So he uses the wisdom of spirit and the guidance of spirit to move forward in his life. And that's where you're higher self your angels your archangels your guides are at with you where they're they're asking you to allow spirit to guide you in this situation and in the near future you have the three of earth which is the same as the three of pentacles and whenever we move forward in that direction we come up with successful fruitful projects right whatever it is that we're working on whether it's a relationship a job uh, our spiritual journey whatever it is whenever we work in collaboration with spirit because it's a collaborative project it becomes fruitful and there's only one person in this particular deck right and there's all this yellow around her again this is not gender specific but again this is about you allowing spirit to be who you collaborate with on this project not sitting around with your friends trying to figure it out not getting on the phone with your uh your mom or your dad or your aunt or your uncle trying to figure it out. It's about you collaborating with spirit, letting them move you forward uh, in the way that best serves you and the situation. Your, um, your current energy toward all this, right? You've got the ace of water. 
I'm sorry, the page of water. So with the page of water, pages is a younger energy. And because of this energy right here, normally I'm like, this is like when we become as little children, when we become as little children, uh, there's a scripture in the Bible that says, lest we become as little children, we cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. And I feel like what this is saying is right now, um, we are, it's like, the message I'm getting is very clear. So just give me a minute to try to, to put the words to it because it's like they want you to tap into that part of the little child in you that, that has that pure expectation and that trust that things are going to be okay. But they, but I feel like they're saying that you're trapped in this other little child that, that is still carrying the hurt and the heartache. Um, but when we move forward from a place of pure expectation and trust, things work themselves out, right? And this is that time for you. Um, this is the, the wheel. This is your outside influence. So it's like the stars have aligned. And this is a time that for you to, to learn this lesson, for you to uh, work out that particular spiritual muscle or that trust muscle, right? That trust muscle where you let go of the will and you allow spirit to move that ship forward for you. It's not it's not a speedboat, so it's not going to go as fast as you want it to go. That's what they're saying. It's not going to go as fast as you want it to go. But when you let go of those things that you cannot fix, change, or control, uh, then you can make peace with it and allow spirit to move that that ship, that airship in the direction that it's supposed to go. This is that time in your life where you're being asked to take your hands off the wheel. Your hopes and fears is the high priestess. Okay, so I feel like you, uh, the high priestess is very intuitive. This, for a lot of you, could be a about a very spiritual journey. But whether it's about your own spiritual journey or anything else going on in your life, it's a very spiritual lesson that you're learning. In other words, it's a lesson that is, it's not just an everyday thing that's going to, I'm learning how to tie my shoes today. This is whatever this is that you're going through and that you're learning about trust and acceptance and, and moving at, at uh, sources pace. This is, this is something that you're wanting to be able to embody and walk out in your life forevermore. Um, and because it's in hopes and fears, you have fear that that you're still supposed to hang on to uh, your responsibility. But spirit saying, uh, focus on taking your hands off the wheel and let the lesson that you learn move you forward forevermore in life. That not that it's going to be perfect, but that you'll maneuver it smoother. Okay. I just threw it. And then you have your outcome is the ace of, it was this way, the ace of fire. Okay. So for me, aces are all about a gift from the universe. This is the, the gift that you're getting from the universe where it's like this epiphany, this awakening that you have within yourself about how things work, about how life works, about how much source loves you. Uh, and, and they don't want you to carry these worries, that's theirs to carry. They want you to do your part and they do their part. And, and a lot of the times our part is praying for the outcome and thanking, being grateful for the outcome that we want and then allowing spirit to do the rest, allowing spirit to do their part that moves the situation forward for us. It's like this huge epiphany that you get and, and it allows you to move forward in your life in that way, on purpose, with passion, inspired with each step that you take, and in a, in a way that is creative, because we're all creative beings, right? Um, this is a huge thing for you right now, between you and spirit. Okay, so now we're going to look at your PS, God, Guides, Angels, Archangels, Holy Spirit. I thank you so much for our Gemini friends. And I thank you for tarot as a tool. Show us clearly what is, this is all about letting go. Show us what is the PS for our Gemini friends. 
and guys, I thank y'all so much for your shares, your likes, your comments, the the subscribes, the uh, the passersby who engage to. I mean, y'all are y'all are awesome. Love y'all. I thank you for clear and concise messages for love, light, and prosperity, and I thank you for clarification, confirmation, and validation. Show me clearly what is the P.S., please. Okay. P.S. Here's the Knight of Wands. Okay, so the Knight of Wands, you have the King of Fire, which is the King of Wands. You have the Ace of Fire, which is the Ace of Wands, and you have the Knight of Wands. So I feel like what this is saying is move forward in that passion. Be as passionate about surrender as you are about the task that you take on every day. Be, uh, move forward with purpose, with, with charisma, with, with absolute... Um, determination to let it go be passionate about letting it go be passionate about surrendering it be passionate about knowing that spirit does have your back and spirit loves you and they want you to experience the things in life that you truly want to experience look some of you out there you gemini people out there this is telling me that this is a whole new way for you to to uh to walk through life that this is this is scary for you this is a new journey here's a younger energy again right and it's and it's about taking that step of surrender and trusting that spirit really is going to put that step right there for you to land on spirit really is going to put that step right there for this situation to move in a positive direction for you um, this is this is the fool's journey. You know, whenever we are here in our human meat sacks, we tend to think that we have to do, do, do. But sometimes we do, and what happens is we block spirit's ability to move this ship because we're trying to move it. And when we're trying to move it and it has no will, it goes off course. So whenever we can let go of the will and let go of the outcome and truly surrender it to spirit, our magic prayer, not my will, but your will. And through me, let me be inspired to take the steps I have to take and allow me to trust that that step or that is going to be there when I, when I do need to step, that it's going to be there for me. And here's, again, we're working our trust muscle, muscle, Gemini. That's what we're doing. We're working our trust muscle because this is about you do your part and you allow spirit to do their part. This is about I plant the seed and then I nurture it. But I don't go dig it up every day to make sure that, that it's popping out of the, out of the seed skin and, and making its way up to the earth so it can pop out of the earth and then grow into a tree. If I do that, if I keep trying to go there and physically dig it up and do something with it, move it around or, or, uh, or, you know, whatever, I kill the plant. I kill the seed within the ground that I planted. So it's plant the seed and leave it there after you put the earth back on it and then spray the water on it every now and then to do your part to nurture it and then allow it to grow out of the ground. This is about us doing our part and allowing spirit to do their part. So Gemini, they're working on your trust muscle, okay? Y'all go out and have a super duper day. Love y'all. Bye.